New thermal vents spewing steam into the air in Yellowstone National Park is drawing attention, more because it's visible from the road than any significant change to the park known for its thousands of geysers, hot springs, and bubbling mud pots. When Yellowstone's roads reopen to traffic in April, travelers will be able to see the new column of steam from rest stops as long as the vent remains active. The column of steam is located in an area about a mile, 1.6 kilometers, north of the Norris Geyser Basin. The thermal feature was first spotted by scientists last summer, prompting them to trudge through a swamp and measure the 171 degree, 77 degrees Celsius steam rising from the base of a forested hill. A thin layer of gray mud confirmed that the vent was new, according to a recent online post by scientists from the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, which is overseen by the U.S. Geological Survey. Mike Poland, the scientist in charge of the observatory, said Monday that such features form frequently and are constantly changing in Yellowstone. The feature itself is new. That there would be a new feature, you know, that's not unusual, he said. The part that's noteworthy is that it's so striking. But the whole idea that there would be a new feature forming is pretty normal. The new plume is located within 200 feet 60 meters of warm ground and appears to be related to hot water that emerged as a new feature 700 feet 215 meters away in 2003. The plume has diminished over the winter. Whether it will remain visible from afar this summer or will be held back by water in the crater remains to be seen, geologists said. But the geological changes at Yellowstone are of interest because the park sits atop a volcano that has been responsible for massive eruptions in the past. But the volcano hasn't erupted lava for 70,000 years and hasn't had a major eruption for 631,000 years. The volcano's magma chamber between 5 and 10 miles, 8 and 16 kilometers, below the surface heats groundwater that bubbles up as the park's famous hydrothermal features. Currently, only about 10% and 30% of that chamber holds liquid magma. Despite dramatic geological events at Yellowstone, including hydrothermal vents that sent scalding water and rock and sent tourists scurrying last summer, geologists stress there's no sign the volcano will erupt again anytime soon. Yellowstone's thermal features come and go, but the park's most famous, Old Faithful Geyser is still going strong. There are so many thermal features, they don't just come and go, they change, Poland said. The summer of 2024 is shaping up to be a busy one, with a hydrothermal vent at Biscuit Basin in July and the first hydrothermal vent ever recorded by geophysical monitoring data at Norris Geyser Basin. Driving south from Mammoth Hot Springs toward the Norris Geyser Basin early on August 5th last summer, a park scientist noticed a column of steam rising through the trees and across a stretch of marsh. The observant scientist alerted the park's geology team to verify whether this was new activity. The new hydrothermal feature is located within a region called the Roadside Springs Thermal Area, a spatially distinct collection of rocky areas and hydrothermal features. Data for Yellowstone's thermal areas are available at. The new feature sits at the foot of a rhyolite lava flow, about 10 feet, 3 meters, above the marsh below, and is located within a stretch of warm, hydrothermally altered soil that is about 200 feet, 60 meters long.
Soon after its identification, park geologists trudged through the marshy ground to get a closer look at the feature, which had a temperature of 77 degrees Celsius, 171 degrees Fahrenheit. A thin layer of gray silica clay barely covered the surrounding surface, indicating that the feature was very young. While this hydrothermal activity may seem new to us, it may also be just the latest manifestation of nearby activity that has been going on for more than two decades. On March 10, 2003, a similar type of hydrothermal activity was first observed on the other side of the same rhyolite lava flow where the new feature is located, just west of Nymph Lake. This hydrothermal activity continues today, but is much less vigorous than when it first formed. Are the new feature and the activity that began in 2003 hydrologically connected? Perhaps. You can draw a line along the axis of the old active area, and it will intersect the new feature. The line also follows a fault trend that runs from the Norris Geyser Basin north to Mammoth Hot Springs and beyond. The new feature remained prominent through the fall of 2024, with a strong steam plume that was especially noticeable on cold mornings. But as fall turned to winter, the steam plume gradually faded. The feature remains active, but there is less water in the vent, which reduces the amount of steam being released. Whether the strong steam plume will return in the summer of 2025 remains to be seen. Geologists have mapped more than 100 major hydrothermal areas in Yellowstone National Park, and there are more than 10,000 hydrothermal features within its boundaries. Activity at these features waxes and wanes over time. Some of them even accelerate. Sorry, we couldn't help it. <laughs>